And now I'd like to ask you another very personal question. And the question is this, do you consider yourself to be your own friend or your own enemy? But somebody is going to say, Carlos, is it possible for anyone to be his own enemy? And my friend, unfortunately, here I am to say to you, yes, it is. And unfortunately, many people actually do sabotage themselves when it comes to seeking their own success. There is only one person who can keep you from achieving success, and that person is you, yourself. But the good news is that you have the ability to overcome your inabilities, to overcome your weaknesses and deviations of thought or behavior. In order to do so, you will need to make a personal effort to silence and ignore that still small inner voice that many times tries to reduce your self-esteem, tries to destroy your outlook, in other words, put you down. Since you have a divine origin, your talents, aptitudes, attributes are much greater than your limitations. Therefore, the secret to your success consists of you uh, valuing yourself and the natural abilities that you perform so well. It does not matter what your present financial condition might be, or your level of education, or your social influence. Make a commitment to your inner voice, that mental dialogue that is within you every day, that from this time on, you will be a wiser, more inspired, more focused, more appreciated, and finally, a happier person. Let your inner voice know that you were born to prosper in every way. There is plenty of space in the world for you to create your own enterprises, your own plans, projects, ideas, your ideals, your dreams, to invest and to develop and grow. As a result, to take advantage of the things that were created to serve you. Finally, remember that you, as a child of God, came to this earth to be happy and to provide happiness to all those that are surrounding you.